Heat 1C, ready to go. Five hydroplanes ready to close accounts in the first flight of Heat. And Jarrett Meyer, another one of our boats that we haven't seen that much of this season. Getting back out on the water. Jarrett qualified seventh with the day's pay at a 153.557 miles per hour. So those are your qual that is how they qualified. As they're hanging now around turn number one, Nick Kish going to get overtaken by the U-75 of DJ Miller. But Nick has got the inside. He's got lane number one. Everyone's clear on the one-minute pin. Fight for lanes begins. U-75 moved over a little bit on the 66. That might be a penalty as they head down the back straightaway. As U-77 was a little bit late, so he's not going to be in at this fight. But as they come to the lanes, the 90 will be in one. The five will be in four. 75 in 3, 66 in 2, 77 will be in 5. Those are your lane assignments as we now get ready for the start of this heat. Nick Kish, a little bit further up than everybody else. Remember, you want to get around that corner, hit that exit pin at about 11 seconds, you're good to go for the start. As Carson Kelly, I think, is going to try to draw them up a little bit early as they come around turn number 2. If they're going to get there about a couple seconds early. They round the corner, though, at 11 seconds. Should be good to go. And it's Jarrett Meyer that's going to lead him to the field. But here comes Scott Witherall. We're at three seconds, two seconds, one second. Mark. And Witherall gets across the line first, and he is the leader. Hey, now towards turn number one. Nick Kish did not get a good start, but it's going to be the 66 of Carson Kelly that swallows up everyone that takes the lead through turn number one. So Kelly from lane number two goes to position number one. And it's a Jay Ayler triple decker down the back straightaway with the 75 in the middle and the five on the outside. Could get a quad decker here, continue, depending on what happens with the U90 as we hit down towards turn number two. But it's Carson Kelly now in second with DJ Miller just poking out ahead. They're going to drop the U5 off the back and the U90 Sliding back by up to about three-quarters of a rooster tail as we end lap number one. We've got four boats throw a blanket over them. As we start lap number two, it's DC presents Deft in first. Second is Husqvarna, and it's a battle for third between the U90 and the U5. As we head into turn number one, they almost touch. They do touch. The five is over. Those boys... We're pushing it a little bit too hard. The U-75 and the U-66 make contact. Carson Kelly's out of the race. And now the battle is between Nick Kish and Jarrett Meyer. They're first and second. The U-75 on that inside might be getting a penalty for that incident. Officials will be looking at that now as they head through turn number two, though. We'll stick with the battles. Now the U-90 gets in front of the U-75 hooked to the inside. Managed to hold on, but that pushes the U-75 to the outside. As we start the final lap of an adventurous Heat 1C with Jarrett Meyer and Dave's pay in first. Nick Kish, Easton Eagle is in second. Third is DJ Miller. Fourth is Scott Witherall, who might be picking up a couple more positions the way things have been going. As the 90 now moves to the outside. And I think, oh, he got wet. Nick Kish went through a rooster tail. Went to the rooster tail of the U5. Took in too much water. That engine went out. That's going to be his chances at winning over. But Jarrett Meyer, day's pay, has not been on the water much this season. Looking to pick up a much-needed 400 points. As they head through turn number one, and Scott Witherall is going to pick up third in all of this. It might pick up second, depending on penalties. But Jarrett Meyer is going to take the win in Heat 1C. Meyer takes the win. DJ Miller is going to be second. Third is Scott Witherall. Nick Kish is going to end up in fourth. Pick up 169 points. And for the first time tonight, the officials will have a couple of things to look at. As Nick Kish comes across the start finish line to pick up on the water his 169 points. And the officials have made it. Well, official, Jarrett Meyer is your winner in Heat 1C of the Montgomery Custom Boat Seafair Cup. And, Jarrett, the first couple of heats were calm. And then Heat 1C, absolute chaos. Yeah, that's usually how it goes, right? You know, it's calm all day and then chaos. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, that was pretty wild. Just a lot of stuff going on around me, and I just tried to stay in my lane, stay straight and true, and thanks to Eddie for kind of guiding me around all that chaos there. That was pretty wild. Yeah, you avoid that. You pick up the 400 points, and the most important thing with that is that helps you out a lot in staying in Division One as we get ready through the last couple of races of the season. We know we haven't seen you a lot, but – being here a lot is more than being here at all, so all you need a couple more points, you should be able to stay up in Division One next year. Yep, that's my battle right now. I only race I've been able to participate in this year was Chelan, first race of the year, so I'm just trying to get above that cut line, and this 400 points will really help out on that. Yep, well, good luck. at 8-mile-an-hour winds coming up, so it's going to be calming down in the second flight of heat, so congratulations. Good luck the rest of the night. Thank you, Daryl. Heat 2A coming up next. And the final running order is going to be Jarrett Meyer, the 75 of DJ Miller. Scott Witherall is going to move up to third. And fourth is going to be Nick Kish, as Nick did pick up that penalty for the lane infraction on DJ Miller, or for impeding DJ Miller. So Nick falls to fourth. 77 is elevated to third despite the buoy penalty. And we get ready for the second flight of heats. <laughs> 